it is such an exciting historical moment. I don't know very many institutions who have three women act African-American leaders at the helm. As we celebrate Women's History Month, a trio of women at a West Michigan institution are making history. For the first time, Western Michigan University Academic Affairs has a college led by three black women. Our Lauren Coomer sat down with them and heard more about their, how they're already making an impact with the students there. Lauren? Yeah, that's right. Janice Elliott, Dr. Stacy Perriman Clark, Dr. Davida Gardner, and Tamika Griffin Brown have been serving together since 2023. As they navigate the journey of being black women in leadership positions, they're also hoping to use their voices to inspire other students. So to all women, mm -hmm. I would like to say, you know, I see you, mm -hmm. I see you, and I see you. Within Merz Tate College at Western Michigan University, three women are making history. Having three black women leading a college named after a successful black woman is just humbling and powerful in itself. The trio, Dr. Stacy Perriman Clark, Dr. Davida Gardner, and Tamika Griffin Brown oversee the college offering supportive services for students to help with the school's retention goals. We are at a point now where WMU is starting to see um, gains within the retention uh, rates um, that we just saw this past fall, which was 79.8%. The college was named after Mers Tate, the first black student to obtain a bachelor's degree from Western, just part of her journey as a trailblazer. We see our work as part of honoring her legacy and continuing to be the access driven institution and college that we are so we can encourage also our students to overcome barriers and think about and reflect on their first in terms of why they're here at Western Michigan University. For one student, that's proving to be true. Brianna Wilson, a senior at WMU, says the three women have been instrumental in her college experience. They play a huge role in like my desire to like continue on in higher education. And because I'm at a predominantly white institution with a college that is named after black women, spearheaded by three black women, that's like amazing as a you know young black student um, you know wanting to take that path. While the three women say they're honored to be in these positions, they also understand they're working to make these opportunities more visible and accessible for other young women, especially young women of color. Just the contrast between how we support each other and yeah. see each other, but the moment we exit the space, it is a cruel reality. Mm -hmm. that hits us in the face that every, day. every yeah. environment is not the supportive. Yeah. The trio says this is only the beginning of their hopes for the future and for the students who will come through the college. I would say to young women, make sure that you are taking the time to prepare yourself to rise. Rise to the challenge, rise to your goals, and rise to the place of success. And that's what success means to you, not to other people. The student, the three women have mentored Brianna Wilson, will graduate next month. Her future does have ties here in West Michigan. Brianna already has a job with the Kalamazoo Promise, which she was a recipient of and plans to get her graduate degree at WMU in higher education in a year. Reporting live in studio, I'm Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.